I'm on the gram, and I seen the man weave the process how he did, and the dude, and the dude came out looking good. I was like, you know what? I want that, and I'm gonna get it. It's really I'm good. I'm thinking about it. I'm like this. How the hell he go from being bald to all that hair on his head? I'm yeah, considering it, man. Like the, they put like the super glue jammy, and then they fade around. It look real. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna Please. do it this summer. I want my hair back. You know, <clears throat> LeBron James is the best basketball player in the world right now, Skip. But I gotta admit, I'm pretty ticked off at him about right now. Whatever it is that he did, how do you not let a brother know? <laughs> dude, dude, have you not noticed I could use some help, okay? If there's one thing that I would like to change, I would like my hairline to move like a bit forward. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I could use about a, a half foot to a foot forward. Okay, Stephen A. Okay. So you know what we're going to do for you? We're going to give you something in between what Kuzma has and what you have. Because I know you like the drop of the curls, but your texture is a little different. So we're going to get you. We're going to get you right, okay? Don't worry about nothing. Three to six month man weave. No problem. These are premium units, skin-based, supplied by us. If you want one, hit us up. So there we go. We get, we get the whole shot of the canvas. You know what, Guan? You know what's going on right now? We just dropped the man weave masterclass showing you how to do this, how to prep the hair, how to do different styles, how to blend it everything top to bottom all the different methods of application that we use not to mention the marketing how to make money doing it how to profit doing it we just gave you guys gems so if you're a barber or a hairdresser or if you know a barber or a hairdresser and they need more they want to make more money working less hours definitely share the link with them at damps academy the link is in the description the link will probably be in the first comment too so share that with them let them know that this is really the next level of barbering Professionals, let me put this into perspective for you. A unit like this, clients are paying seven to fifteen hundred for. Seven to fifteen hundred. A lot of barbers don't do that in a day. Elevate your game. Create more opportunity with your time. One thing we say a lot is take crumbs, make bread. Take crumbs, make bread. If you break that down, that's really just turning nothing into something. And the biggest thing for me this year is I want to show you guys how we make bread. I want to be honest with you. I want to show you how we're making bread. So if you look at it right now, we're creating that Kuzma design in the back of his neck. Almost like it was an Odell Beckham thing, but now it's a Kyle Kuzma thing with that little V. I see Stephen A talking about Deion Sanders a lot and how he got a hair transplant. Somebody got to tell my boy Stephen A that this is the easiest way to go from zero to 100. Like a hair transplant, that's a process of healing and hair falling out and hair growing back in. And it, it just, it's just longer. It's definitely an interesting process, but it's just longer. If you want to look great right off the bat, you want that Jalen Rose lineup right off the bat, this is the only way that I know right now. Remember, for anybody who wants to learn this skill, the Man Weave Masterclass is live. Follow the link in the description, the link in the bio, dampsacademy.com. Follow those links. If you want this service done or you want the hair that I used in the service, getmanweave.com. Again, getmanweave.com. Like I always tell people, do you really think when you're 25 to 35, you go 25 years of your life because people are going bald younger now. Do you really think people are going to stay bald for the rest of their life and not be curious to try and do new things? Do you really think people you're walking by on a daily basis don't have a man weave on? Do you really believe that? It's funny because in black culture, this is relatively new. That's why I'm telling people just get on this now because there's not enough barber professionals that know this. Every barber should know this. But what's interesting is white men have been doing this forever. And you walk by white men every day that have a man weave or a non-surgical hair unit on every day they've been doing this we supply and can do every type of hair that's why if you take the man weave master class you'll see the process for everything um what's interesting is we do we know how to cut every type of hair we have experience in the barber shop cutting white black asian brown every type of person so the fact that we know how to attach this so well and then couple that with the experience we have with all these different hair textures, we can cater to everybody. I personally would say black hair is the hardest though. And that's just because as black people, we get such sharp, clean haircuts most of the time. Like I'm generalizing big time, but 
but you get such sharp clean haircuts that you got to really tailor this whole look usually when i talk about the man weave masterclass i'm always talking about how barbers can generate more but realistically guys this is such a fulfilling feeling when you can reshape somebody's image change how people look at them react to them like i have clients from all over the world right now and it's just the reactions they get from their colleagues at work from their family and a lot of times and it they don't even tell their colleagues at work that something changed you know they just hide under a hat most of the time and then suddenly they come out and boom they're popping you know their hair is on point and they get compliments for looking 10 15 years younger which is nuts you know what i mean so back to the unit me typically i like the more tailored and super blended look but for this specific client uh, the Stephen A client, uh, they wanted it to be more natural. They wanted it to look more like Kuzma where it's just kind of faded at the bottom, faded up, but at the top, it's just a lot of hair. And that's what they got. I mean, you still see a weight line that could have easily been blended out. I could have blended that out, but he wanted that real curly kind of natural Afro feel at the top without the crazy, crazy blend. You know without the crazy shape so we just kind of left it like that and honestly he looks proper damps damps